guys, welcome to our RV tour. We're going to start right here at the door. The entranceway is not very big. We just have a little absorbent mat here. That's an access door to get to the storage underneath this bench here. The steps have a little bit of storage, but uh, it's more for knickknacks and odds and ends and that kind of thing. Unfortunately, there's not really a place to put your shoes, so the shoes just kind of wind up piling up here. So Cody and I just try to keep out the one pair that we're using the most right now. That would be the runners for me. And then any extras go in storage underneath the stairs here. So right when you walk in, you can come up to the stairs, you get into the bedroom area. Each of us have one of these small three drawer storage units. That's where we keep all of our clothes. We significantly downsized, so everything fits into there now with the exception of large hanging sweaters, which would be up in another closet. I'll get to that right away. And so if we come up here, you can see that we've got one cabinet up here. And inside we keep a monitor. And our Nintendo Switch is hooked up in the back. And then there's just like a little extension cord that you can see running over to the plug-in. So we just have like Skyrim and Mario and Crash Bandicoot and stuff like that on here. And then there's like a little cord, you can kind of see it hanging down there, that plugs into the sound bar down below because the monitor didn't come with speakers in it. We just keep our keys and Hunter's slip leash there. And then in this cabinet we keep like garbage bags, the big tripod and like a few other odds and ends. There is storage underneath this bench. We've got our instant pot down there. Our fresh water holding tank is under there, but we don't ever use it because we've got direct hookups. And like a couple duffel bags. We keep a, a towel here all the time because this is where Hunter sleeps. You can see it's only been about a day and it's just covered in hair and dirt and rocks and leaves. And then I've got a toaster oven over there that I just bought. I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to store it yet. Then we've got Hunter's food, his food and water, one of the uh, extensions for the dice in here. And I didn't really clean up for you guys, so you'll see stuff laying around. That is because I wanted you to have like a realistic idea of what it looks like to actually live in an RV. Coming into the kitchen, we've got our drying rack, the coffee that I'm drinking right now, a little catch haul dish for like <laughs> Monopoly pieces and coins and whatever. We've got our big sink here, which I absolutely love. Right above that, we have our dishes. And we don't have a lot because it's just the two of us. So we've got a few bowls and plates, some of uh, Cody's favorite tea. There's a bag of all my favorite teas. We keep our Tupperware in a basket back there. Then we've got some oatmeal, um, all of our glasses and coffee cups and stuff like that go up there as well. And then if you saw our kitchen renovation video, you'll know that we pulled out our stove. So we used to have like a propane oven and stove here. We did leave our propane line in and just capped it. That's what this is here in case we ever decide to put one back in. But we haven't found we needed it. We're always somewhere with uh, full hookups. So I've got my induction cooker there. We also have an, a, a griddle. And like I said, we've got that uh, instant pot as well that I use quite frequently. So that's what everything looks like up here. I just got those cheap peel and stick like marble subway tile things. And then our spice rack, the hood fan, and then our microwave, which is right up in this cupboard here. And then we've got like our cutting boards, some of our uh, oven mitts, a kitchen scale, that kind of thing. And then right next to that, we've mounted our Dyson. We use this thing so many times in a day. It's an absolute must, I think. I can't even imagine living in an RV without one. And then in this top drawer here, we have all of our utensils. Below that is like our spatulas, measuring cups, tin foil, cheese graters, that kind of thing. And then underneath here, we have like our bowls. This is kind of a pantry. We've got more coffee stuff, a toaster that I'm probably going to give away because we never use it, especially now that we have a toaster oven. But there's like cooking oils and coffee and cornstarch and stuff like that and then some of our cleaning supplies and then we have our fridge which is a really good size um, not like I have a ton of stuff in there right now but and then a really good size freezer as well and then spinning around so we've got the door there there's the bedroom so this is our dining area um, we've got a laser pointer up there for Hunter we like to let him chase it around outside and 
He has a lot of fun with that. A couple extra cords that I needed to move off the counter from when I was cooking. Um, we've got like an extra jug of water down here just in case our pipes freeze or our water freezes and we can like flush our toilets and stuff like that. Although I haven't had any issues since I bought a heated hose. Um, it's a little warmer out now but it drops down to about minus 5 Celsius right now. It's not too bad but um, cold enough that it'll freeze. And I've just got like a little blanket here because when I sit next to the window, although it's not drafty, it can still feel cold. So sometimes I'll wrap myself up in that. And we've just got like Kleenex. There's a box there full of hunter stuff like brushes and treats and bandanas. And then I've got our internet back there. Um, we do have internet in the trailer. There's a, not like a satellite dish, but there's a receiver fixed to the back of our trailer. We are parking here for the winter. So we're just running off of one of the, the cell towers nearby. Then we've got like a keyboard there in case I want to play games and I need a full-size keyboard. This cupboard here is kind of like my cupboard slash all the tech things. So I've got like a bullet journal, some leather journals, the gimbal, a bunch of my vitamins. There's phone cases, chargers, um, pens, like there's, it's very much a junk cabinet. I try to keep it organized, but. And then this one over here is our basically like our other pantry. So we've got Hunter's dog treats, some rice, extra paper towel we keep up here. There's canned goods, pasta or Pyrex dishes in the back. There's like a decent amount of storage in here, but when you think about it, there's not a lot of storage. Um, this drawer down here, we keep all of our pots and pans, which thankfully they all fit which was great. We had to buy a whole new set to work with the induction cooktop. We didn't really think about it at the time um, that not all cookware would work with it. So then we've got our bathroom, which of course has like a mirror on the back. And then we've got our little medicine cabinet. So I keep my makeup up on top there. And then we have like Q-tips, toothpaste, um, floss, creams, like <laughs> it's not a very organized cupboard. Then we have our shower. It's not very big. Um, let me turn on the light here. It's not very big, but you know what? It works. It does the job. I can't really complain. Um, under the sink, we don't really store much. We have toilet paper, water treatment, uh, or like tank treatment stuff, and then my blow dryer, and that's it. And then this bottom drawer down here, we've got like towels and feminine hygiene stuff. And then in here, that's where we hang like our big jackets and sweaters. Some of my scarves are in here. We also keep our big TV. So we had, I think it was 58 inches. We had a decent sized TV when we were in the apartment and we sold it and bought a smaller one. So this one's 24 inches thinking that we'd use it in the trailer, but we don't have any room to put it. So sometimes we put it on the counter here, but primarily it just sits in storage here. So we'll probably sell it or give it away. And then we've got our griddle right here, which is great when we're doing a big breakfast between the two of us. There's our uh, bike tire air pump thing. And then the rest of it is just like extra blankets. This has got all of our extra cords, so charging cables, HDMI cables, power cables, stuff that we maybe wouldn't use as frequently. And then some storage there as well. So yeah, that is our trailer. It's pretty... I mean, it's pretty small, but it's big enough for the two of us. It's 21 feet long, 21, 21 and a half feet long, something like that, and uh, just under eight feet wide. So that's it. That is the tour of our RV. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do. We post videos about what it's like to live in an RV. Um, we've done morning routine videos. We're going to do our favorite purchases for the RV soon, as well as our three months is coming up right away. And so we want to do a video for you guys on kind of the trials and tribulations that we've had moving into the RV and how we overcame those things, kind of where our mental and emotional states were as we moved through those first few months um, and kind of how we're feeling about it now. And there's a lot of other things that we want to have um, that we have planned in the works. So if you want to see those videos, we'd love to have you guys here. I hope you're all doing great and we'll talk to you later. Bye!